Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Deceive from Sands Minds. What is Deceive? Deceive is a card transposition. It's a single card that morphs, uh, let's say it changes from a court card to a spot card. Okay, but the interesting thing is the spectator signs the card and it literally changes in their hand while they're holding it. Sounds pretty incredible. You want to see what it looks like? This is it. Changing the identity of a playing card is a timeless magic effect because it fulfills the inner desire of being able to create a winning hand in the card game. As a magician, we all know one of the strongest things we can do with a deck of cards is to change a card in the spectator's hand. The reactions are insane. However, when we do that, only one spectator feels the most impact. What if we told you that for the very first time, you can have the best of both worlds? Here at the Sands Minds Creative Lab, we have come up with a revolutionary in the spectator's hand color change. Oh, God. Not only does the whole crowd get to enjoy the amazing visual of the trick, but the participant feels the magic in their hand. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> The best part is that you end completely clean with the card never leaving their hand. This is the scene. All right, so that was Deceive from the people down at Sans Minds Creative Labs. Okay, a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You're going to get the DVD. DVD is 41 minutes long, and you're going to get the necessary supplies to build your own gimmick. Yes, you will have to build your own gimmick. Um, about 10 minutes of the video is strictly devoted to gimmick building. Okay? Um, when you go to build it yourself, the very first time, if you want to be really super careful and you've never done it before, probably take you like 15 minutes to build-ish. Okay? And I would say you do need to be very careful. This needs to be a precision made gimmick. So if DIY isn't really your thing, I would say you really, you really do have to take your time with this. It really has to look really good. And uh, that said though, the good news is you get to use whatever cards you want. So if you don't use traditional bikes, you use other kinds of cards, uh, you're free to make this gimmick in any card uh, design that you would like. Is it well made? Hey, I just said you have to make it yourself so it's as well made as you make it. Um, I will say that this is not a new uh, card gaff. This, this has been done before. Uh, there's, there's been other ways to make this same gimmick. However, this is a, I think a newer or a very creative, very modern way to make this gimmick. That said, um, you still need to be really careful as far as um, how long the card stays in play and how long it stays in view. I think how well you make it will greatly determine if it can pass a uh, casual inspection or a easy breezy inspection. Like the spectator has to hold it, they have to see it. Um, you're, so you're, you're gonna have to pay very careful attention to audience management and lighting. So I think all of that goes hand in hand with how well it's made. And so the better you make it, the more convincing it will be. And I think built into this gaff, there are a lot of tells that it isn't a normal card. So you do need to be, like I said, very, I can't overemphasize it enough. You need to be very careful when building this gimmick. Is it well taught? Very similar to other Sans Minds DVDs. Uh, Jason does all the performance uh, on the street and then Herman is back in the studio and he teaches you uh, through it. Like I said, there's about 10, 12 minutes entirely devoted to gimmick construction. The rest of that 40 minutes though, um, I do think they go over and above to give you everything you need to know, ins, outs, tips, tricks, to pull off this effect. How are your angles and can it be inspected? You know, I, I mentioned this a little earlier, bears repeating. Uh, even though it is the, only the same size as a, a playing card, um, as far as thickness wise and appearance wise, um, those are your, it's got tells built into it. And so I think you just need to be very wary of how long the gaff stays in play. So what's the difficulty level and skill level required? I definitely think that this is a intermediate to advanced level uh, trick, even though the guys at Sands Minds, they do teach you some of the necessary moves to do this. 
Um, they're also gonna teach you the, the double lift, they're gonna teach you the swing cut, they're gonna teach you the double undercut, they're gonna teach you the pinky break. But I think this is still for someone who has, is proficient in card magic, okay, and who has performed for audiences a lot. You, you have done magic for a wide variety of people in a wide variety of settings. I think you are gonna be the person that is able to pull this off better because it's really dependent upon uh, working with the audience and, and uh, making this look casual and clean. I think the more you fumble, the more you kind of, you know, do funny moves and they're obvious, I think that all of that detracts from the card magic. So I definitely think this is an intermediate to advanced level trick. All right, so what is your setup and reset? Um, setup is, it is a deck stack, okay? So you're gonna have to have your entire deck ready to go to do this one effect. The good news is, at the end of it, you'll be able to ditch your gaff and move on from there. So I definitely think this works the best as an opener. You won't be able to just slide this in, you know, whenever. Um, there's definitely some setup involved. The good news is, the reset is instantaneous. Positives, what are the positive to deceive? Um, deceive is a very fun, and creative way to do a morph of a single playing card. And I think anytime you can do the magic directly in the spectator's hands, do it. All right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, sadly, this is just another do-it-yourself trick from Sans Minds where I really feel like, wow, I really wish somebody had manufactured this for me. I wish somebody with more patience and more time and who's better at arts and crafts uh, would have made this for me so that I didn't feel like all the pressure was on me to, to pull this off. And obviously that would have driven up the price, of course, but I think this is one of those gimmicks that will just require precision, careful attention. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's 25 bucks, it's only $25, and I think if you are really good at DIY, um, it's definitely worth your money because you'll be saving money on a precision-made gimmick that you make, and like I said, you can make it into any card back you want, so uh, for the 40-minute DVD and for the stuff that they give you, I definitely think it's worth your money. Okay, so who would like this? I think people who like new and creative card magic, I think people who maybe might want a really cool ending to an ambitious card routine, and that's kind of uh, some of the inspiration uh, for the trick itself is from uh, a really classic ending to the ambitious card. Um, or just people who really enjoy, you know, the Sans Minds library. I think would definitely like Deceive. All right, so that is my review for Deceive from Sans Minds Creative Labs. As always, I want to thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.